Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, a little bit of an ongoing uh, saga here with the HP Smart app that installs on PCs that have no HP devices. And uh, an interesting find that comes from G-Hacks that apparently some have noticed a little change. And it's that um, when you have a printer installed, of course, the printer will follow the name of whatever you know um, device you have. So, for example, in my case, I've got a uh, Epson printer, which um, is um, installed. And so, if I look at you know the printers and scanners, I can see my Epson ET2750 series, and it, of course, has its own software. It seems that some uh, printers have a name that changed uh, over time and that some printers which are not HP printers can sometimes be recognized by Windows as an HP printer but not just that if you have noticed that uh, you can actually print to PDF uh, one of the uh, notices is that the print to PDF option uh, which does require to have a form of um, kind of a virtual printer, if you want, even though you don't have a printer, uh, would apparently be referred to as an HP virtual printer to print to PDF. So when that happens, uh, it means that because Windows thinks that you have a, um, a um, HP printer, it actually wants to install the HP Smart app. Uh, this app is installed only when Windows in some way actually kind of discovers and sees that a possible HP printer is on the system. So that would be kind of an explanation that is a possible explanation that some people have noted. But one thing for sure, um, is that it's very weird and Microsoft still hasn't either talked about it or acknowledged anything really um, as they did say they would be investigating but uh, it's kind of weird and um, you know had the worst you have the HP uh, smart app I've uh, had some comments from some of you that you uninstalled it and it came back I unstall uninstalled it on my PCs where it showed up and I've not had that app come back so i don't know if it's maybe something they fixed something they changed but i have not had the app coming back uh, to my pcs since it's removed so we'll see if uh, that is maybe fixed now and maybe it will not come back but uh, if you have the app, the HP Smart app, and you haven't installed it, uh, it would be interesting to see if you actually get it back once it's uninstalled. And of course, if you have an HP device, well, it's fine because you want the HP Smart app probably. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.